Hi, hi. How are you today? Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Uh, I, hi, I teacher. Work, I work fine, thank you. Excellent. I work in teacher. Hey, really? Yes. Oh, so sad. Hey. Teacher, I am not at I am not at home right now, but but I'm I, I'm on way on way home. You are still moving. You're on your way home, Joanna. Yes, teacher. I'm still moving. Okay, okay. Yes, I, I am in an event, but we finish and, and I'm go home right now. Okay, okay. Okay. Bye, David. It's okay. I'm going to call you. Fifth, April fifth. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a ver, Ana Alicia, no, Carolina Abigail, Carolina, no Carolina, Car Carolina Abigail, ¿verdad? Claudia Carolina, Claudia, Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Teacher, no voy a poder estar disponible. Voy a estar cliente. Okay. Hola. Okay. It's okay. Bacha, pues, me avisa cuando llegue a, 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 a casita. Sí, sí, claro, gracias. Sí, perfecto. Bye. Ok. Uh -huh. Claudia Carolina me dijo que sí. Diego. Present. Diego Batres. Diego Batres. Present. Ok. Edwin. Present, teacher. Ok. Grace Mitchell. Grace. Grace, no. Um, Jonathan. Jonathan. Karen Janet. Karen. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Carla. Hi, Carla. I'm presented. <laughs> ya la vi, ya la vi. Karen y Stephanie. Karen y Stephanie. 
Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin René. Kevin, Kevincito, no here, Kevin. Um, Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Edgardo. No, así, ¿verdad? Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. <laughs> sí. Luis Mauricio. No here, no yet. No yet. Eh, Noé Ortiz. Hi, teacher. Ah. Here. Hey. Rosa Hilda. Noé, antes de que se me olvide, revise por favor la plataforma. Ok, teacher. Me ha ido dejando todas las tareas de todas las unidades en 60. Una vez mejor dejarle sí. Bueno. sí, lo vaya porque eh, a mí me aparecen que está todo bien. Fíjese que no. Todas. Ajá. todas. Vamos a ver. No sé, no sé por qué. Todavía Ajá. voy a terminar de pasar lista y, y voy a revisar. Fíjese que todavía. Pero... En la mañana que me dice para... Porque para al principio, al principio me daba fallo, pero uh -huh. después lo logré, logré corregirlas. No, no sé por qué no da, pero bien, lo voy a volver Ajá, a, sí, a revisar otra vez. El sábado que, que hice la última revisión, vea, para, para recoger notas, estoy viendo. No, eh, porque unidad 1, 60, unidad 2, 60, unidad 3, 60. Eso okay. Porque es probable que haya quedado intercalada alguna que no haya hecho. Y el asunto es okay. que necesitan 80 para pasar. ¿Verdad? Ok, teacher. Ok. Hay que echarle un ojo. A ver, a ver. Qué... Bueno. ¿Está? Bueno, bueno. Okay. Gracias. Bueno. Rosa Hilda. Rosa Hilda. Hello. No. David. No, Mario. Mario Ángel. No Ángel, no Ángel, no. Luz Angélica. Luz, Luz. Present teacher. Okay. Juana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Fíjese que ahorita voy camino a mi casa. Si sí, lo oigo bien lejos. Lejos, lejos. Voy camino a mi casa. Vaya, ok, está bien, José Alfredo. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. Okay. David. Present. Ok, vaya. Mario Ángel, no, ¿verdad? No está Mario Ángel. Kevin. No. Karen y Stephanie. Ana Alicia. Siempre le digo Ana Alicia. Alicia, por una telenovela. No, ¿qué era? Serie. <ríe> Vaya. Ok, bueno, ahí estamos, chicos. Today eh, we are going to be. Este. Ay, me estoy acostumbrando a estos lentes y lo siento bien feos. No, pero es que son con protección para la copa. Vamos a ver. Eh, bueno, today eh, we are going to be using another model. Remember yesterday we were using a should. And we were saying that we use should to give advice. And vamos a ver. Eh, we use should to give advice or to talk about something that we think is right or wrong. So you say, I think you should. I think you should do this. I think you should do the other. Okay. So if you want to this to tell somebody that what he or she is doing is not okay, you should. Okay. Um, 
Hmm. So you say that you should means I think it is a good idea for you to do it. Yes, I think. Okay. I think it is a good idea for me or for you to do it. So if I say, well, mm, you should drink more water. I think it is a good idea for you to drink more water, right? You should means also, I think, or you shouldn't, means I think it is a bad idea, right? So I can say, I think it is a bad idea to drink too much Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about water, I'm going to ask for water. Okay. I think I think you should drink more water. I think you should drink less soda, right? I think you should eat less fat food. I think you should cook a little bit more. So those are like advice right or pieces of advice remember we said that pieces of advice can be affirmative or can be negative right also uh, we mentioned and here with an example we mentioned that after a model any model it doesn't matter we use the base form of the verb so you say you should go out you should talk she should talk to her boss. Uh, you should go out. You shouldn't go out so much, right? So I think you should go out. I don't think you should go out so much. Oh, I think you shouldn't go out so much. Remember, the negation can be moving to here. So you can change that. I think you shouldn't go out so much. Oh, I don't think you should go out so much. Oh, but what happens if I say, I don't think you shouldn't go out so much? It's like a double negation will mean, okay, you should go out, right? So be careful with that. Okay. Any question here before we go to the conversation? Question about just Not teacher, no question. Mm. Everything clear. Perfect, perfect. Well, the model, the model that we are using or that we are going to study today is could. And we're going to see a couple of uses for could. And some models that are like close to it that give um, the same meaning, right? Because when talking about models, you know, there are uh, different types of models and with each model the meaning may vary but there are some models that have the same meaning than other ones and also mm, something important is that models do not have only one meaning and not only one use right so be careful with that Okay, Basha, questions? Questions, questions? No questions. Basha, excellent. Now, let's see. Let's go to the conversation. Uh, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Good morning, ladies. How are you doing? Teacher, verdad que no está compartiendo pantalla. Ay, no le creo. Ya no ya estamos directos a esta altura de la semana. Ah, le voy a dar allí en de una vez que todos share. Okay. 
Ya no, es que, es que es martes con sabor a miércoles, ¿verdad? Vaya, good morning, ladies. Good morning, good morning ladies. Good morning, good morning ladies. ladies. Y yo mostrándoles todos los otros ejemplos, miren aquí, manchan, vaya, miren. <ríe> Qué barbaridad. Ay, no, 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 no. Vaya. How are you doing today? How are you doing, How are you doing, doing today? How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. Hello. 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. But Betty is not. But, 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 but Betty is not. not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Really? Really? What's, What's wrong, 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 Betty? Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. Well, well my no, mother is sick, sick and my, and my sister can't, can't go see, see, go see tomorrow. her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to, hear, to, to hear, that. hear that. You could ask for permission. You, you could ask, 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 ask for permission. permission. You could ask for permission. You could you ask, ask for, for permission. For permission. He's right. He's right. He's right. You could go to the human resources department and request a form. You, you could, could go, go to, to the human department, department, department and request a form. To request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Okay, one more time. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Good morning, Good morning ladies. ladies. How, are How are you doing today? today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really, what's wrong, Betty? Really, what's what wrong, what Betty? wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. Well, well my, my mother, mother is sick, sick and, and my sister, my sister can't go, can't see, go see, see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. Well, so I am sorry, sorry to, hear to hear that. You could ask for permission. You could you ask could for permission. He's right. You could go to the human resources department and request a form. He's right. right. You could go to the human resources department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Okay, now I will need. Um, hmm. Boys, you're going to be hang. Girls, you're Julie. I am Betty. Okay? Ready? Ready? Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello. Hello. Uh, I am okay. okay. But Betty is, Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, well, my, well my my mother is sick, sick. And, my and my sister, sister can, can go here tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's, He's right. 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 You, you could, could go, go to the HR department, department and request, request a form. For. Could I mention the reason for the permission? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. This is Betty. Esta mm -hmm. no es Julie, ¿verdad? Porque la que va a pedir permiso es Betty. Okay. Questions? Pronunciation? Meaning? No? Yes, teacher. Y? And they say, you could go to... Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Human. ¿Mm? Recursos humanos, human. Human resources, sí. This resources. is human resources. Uh -huh. The human resources department. Human resources department. 
Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, we can say uh, when donde this, Betty dice, well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her. Mm, I don't know if you have to use go to see or it's okay only go see. That's okay. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. You can okay. like that. Yeah. My mother, okay. my mother, my sister can't go see her. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can also say can't go to see her, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's valid. Right? Uy, se me ha tapado la nariz. <laughs> Los nuevos climas. Any question? No question? Any other question? Permission. Remember? Permission. Permission. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you to the groups. You are going to practice the conversation. Let's see. Uy, qué poquitos hay hoy. Y los voy a mandar en tríos porque son Betty y Julie, ¿verdad? I'm going to make four groups. Noé, ahí se pone el nombre completito, oye, cuando pueda. Ok, teacher. Vamos a ver, David, Lu Carla, Lorena, Luz, Angélica y Noé. Adriana, Carolina, Claudia y Karen. Aquí creo que vamos a hacer un cambio. Ah, se me perdió quién. Bueno, ahí se quedó todo. Este. Edwin, Joana y Luis Edgardo. Joana va caminando. Diego, José Alfredo y. Marina Vanessa. Aquí vamos a mandar uno. Al uno. Va. Creo que ahí estamos bien. Let's go. Let's go. Ana is coming. Ana al tres. Y luz al dos. Vaya. Check, check. Try to join. Joana y Ana. Today. Hello, hi. I am okay, but Betty is not. Uh, really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. Uh, I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to human resource department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Hank? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Excuse me, tenía el micrófono apagado. Bye. Ah, pues si quiere, hoy cambiamos, Carla. Sí, Sammy. Yo soy Julie, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Dele, Noé. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you today? 
How are Hello. you doing today? Hello, hi. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Okay. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. She is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear, hear that. You could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to Human Resource Department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. We cambiamos. <laughs> Teacher, one okay. question. How do you say rescue? Sí, la ahí, ¿verdad? Hola. La teacher ahí está, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, aquí estoy. Y deje de compartir sin querer. Ya pueden compartir. Ah, estaba compartiendo, pero quizás donde lo moví se me fue. Quiero ver a Nana. Ah, ahorita ya puedo. Ajá. Teacher, después de department and rescues, así se pronuncia, rescues, support, rescues, support. Teacher. Hola. Uh, le preguntaba cómo se pronuncia la palabra re, no sé si es. Bueno, se escribe request. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál palabra? Request, pero se pronuncia. Request, request. Request, request. Request, request. request for permission. Iniciamos de nuevo, Karen. Uh -huh. Vaya. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I'm, I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear, to hear that. You could ask for permission? He is right. You could go to go to human request department and se me olvidó. Please request a form. Request a form. Request a form. Could I mention? Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Pam. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He is right. You could go to human resource department. He is right. You could go to human resources department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Hoy la, hoy la a Ana que sea Yuli. Okay. okay. <laughs> <risa> yo siento raro eh. está bien okay. No, okay. no quiere ser Yuli yo voy a estar de, de, de departamento de recursos humanos vale. <risa> voy a ser el supervisor sí. ok, el okay. supervisor vale. ok, entonces yo voy a hacer perdón ah, okay. good morning ladies how are you go today Hello, hi, I'm okay, 
but Betty is not. Really? What grows, Betty? Well, well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. <laughs> I am sorry to hear it. Thanks. Uh, you caught us from permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. So I mentioned the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Yay. Y voy yo como Hank. Ah, okay. yeah. <laughs> sí. Yo quedo fuera ahora. Ahorita pasa al departamento de recursos humanos. Ok. <laughs> ya lo ascendieron. Sí. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty's not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. It's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Will I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ahora yo puedo ser Betty. Yo, yo, yo. Ok, y usted Hank. Bueno, no sé quién va a ser Hank. Que sea Edwin y hoy que descanse Johanna. Ok, perfecto. Thank you, thank you. Miren, como lo he ido agregando, 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 hoy terminaron bastante. Bien. Una palabra cada uno. Pero aquí nos ascienden después. Sí, ahorita va al departamento. Curso, Espero que mantengan el sueldo. <risa> que lo suban. Entonces, vamos a hacer unos cambios. Que lo suban. <risa> no, que cuando ya lo suban, lo mantengan. Ah, ok. Yeah. <risa> sí, ¿verdad? Que no lo yes. vaya a bajar el nuevo que llegue. <risa> <risa> Correcto. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Entonces, esa no, no, no la vaya a llenar. Ah, ok, listo. Sí, es que me cayó ahora ese mensaje y no sabía si la encuesta la debería dar ahora o al final. No, 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 hasta el viernes. Hasta la el llena viernes. conmigo. Ah, ok. Eh, this Friday, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí. Ok. Terminar. <risa> oh, como nada, nivel 5, imagínense, ya van a pasar al 6. Ese es el que más voló para mí, de verdad, teacher. De verdad que sí. Sí, sí. We, we finished, teacher. The ah, yeah. Did you answer the questions? Yes. yes. Ah, pues sí, me lo sé. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Diego. Okay. Vamos a ver. Who will be my volunteers to read? Volunteers, volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. You and your group, right? Okay. My name. Si gustan, comienzo. Good morning, ladies. How are you going today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to her. Thanks. You caught us for, from permission. He's right. You could go to the human resources department and request a form. Did I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Can I have two more, uh, three more volunteers? Volunteers. 
और बेकते हैं साथ रियाना ओके Adriana, your group, group, group. Oh, sorry, ah, tenía el micrófono apagado. Eh, I am Han, Adriana. I am Han, Adriana. Okay, Carla, if you want to call me Julie. Okay, uh, beginning. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mom is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to human, res human resources department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Nice. No, it's very good. Now let's see the questions, right? What is the problem with Betty? What is the problem with Betty? Huh? Her mother is sick. Mm -hmm. Her mother is sick. That's the problem. And she needs permission for visit her. Uh -huh. But the problem is that her mother is She's sick. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay. Um, do you know someone who had a similar situation? Yes, no. No, teacher, me no. No, okay. Le podemos agregar. And she needs to go see him. Okay. Somebody has known a person with a problem like that? No, verdad, está muy jovencito usted. Only when my daughter is sick, I have to ask for permission. Okay. Exactly. When your daughter is sick, when your husband is sick, when your mother is sick, you need to ask for permission. Okay. Sometimes uh, we have to deal with the schedule, right? So it's like, okay, the visit time is in the at noon and not in the afternoon. If you are many brothers or sisters, you can. Uh, play with the times and see who goes at noon, who goes in the afternoon, right? But in this case that Betty's sister cannot go see her. Mm, so if they are only two, Betty has to go. Okay, great. Well, check, we have been talking about permission. So we are going to talk a little bit about permission. So what model do we use when we want to use uh, or when we want to use or talk or ask for permission? You can use can and you can use may. Remember last course we were talking about that? If we want to ask for a permission, we use can and it's a little informal, but you can ask for permission using can. And uh, if you want to be more formal and less common, you use may, okay? May is, we can say like the word we use for asking for permission. We could also use could to ask for permission, could I? And could is more, it's also formal and not too common, right? It's formal and at the same time, it is kind of polite, okay? So you say, you could borrow my car if you want. You can, I'm giving you permission, right? You can borrow my car if you want. Children may use the pool if with adult permission. 
could I, so you want to ask for permission, then you say, could I go, could I, or may I, right? Depending on how formal you want to be. So you say, may I, just let's make it bigger. Could I? Hey. Could I open the door? Yes, I'm asking for permission. Could I open the door? Could I leave early today? It's not very common, right? Could I uh, leave early? Could I leave early today? Could I be absent tomorrow? Mm -hmm. This is a, a model that we use to ask for permission. Remember, it's not very common. What it's more common to be used is can. But if you want to be more formal, you can use may or you can use could. Could I, could I be absent tomorrow? That means like, is it possible, right? Is it possible that I am, that I be absent? Is it possible that I live early? Is there a possibility there? So that's, that means permission, right? So remember. You want now, yeah, uh, Hank told you and Julie told you, your betty, right? Hank and Julie told you, go to human resources and ask for permission. Then you get to human resources. Morning. Could I get a form? Could I get a form to ask for a permission? They look at you like this. Hmm. When for? <laughs> right when for for today no for tomorrow ah okay right it depends if you have to look for somebody to replace you right but this is like um, a word that we can use to ask for permission and remember it's formal and at the same time it's polite and it's not too common right now can and could may have used to ask for permission, right? They are used to ask for permission. Can, and um, I have a more here. So can, remember what we said is that the most common is can, but can is very informal. I mean, can I, can I go out? And your mom say, yeah, it's okay, right? But if you want, if you, if you have a mother, that type of mother, who you look at your mother like this, she will tell me no. So then you go like, may I? Oh, could I, right? So you have to be uh, trying to use more polite words and be more formal, mm -hmm. use could. Can is the most direct of the three, right? Could, as I was telling you, is the more formal. See, could is more formal and tentative and may is the most formal. So if, if I want to be formal, but not <coughs> too formal, and I want to get an answer that would be yes, it's better to use could. Can I use your phone? Mm -mm, no. Could I use your phone? Mm, no, it's okay. May I use your phone? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it depends on what or who you're talking to, right? The model that you're going to use. But check, remember, after a model, the verb will be always in the base form. See, never say, could, could I to use, mm -mm. no, could I use, right? 
may I use, can I use. So all of them are used to talk about permission, but the model we are using today is good. So that's why I wanted to bring more examples with could, but it's necessary also that you know that could is not the only model that you use for permission, right? Any questions so far? No question? I'm sorry, teacher, a glass? Cuando va a venir a, a, en este caso, a water? A glass of water. Glass of water. Ah, oh, okay. I have, Vaso I de have agua. a, sí, I have a cup okay. here. Okay. I have a cup, but for water we use a glass. Okay. Okay, any question? Any other question? No, yes. Yes, no. <laughs> no, better. No, teacher. Okay, perfect. Ooh. Okay. So remember, when we talk about permission, we are not actually giving, refusing, or asking for it, we can use can or can't, or be allowed to. Remember, we were also using that uh, model, be allowed to. But check, when we talk about permission, but we are not actually giving, refusing, or asking for it, we can use can or can't, or be allowed to. For example, students can choose any topic for their project. So that means students are allowed to choose any topic for their project. They have the permission, but I'm not giving the permission right now. I'm just telling you that they have the permission. See? We can't eat in the library, so we are not allowed to. We don't have the permission. No les estoy ni dando, ni negando, ni pidiendo permiso. Solo les estoy contando el permiso que tienen. Right? So check the difference. So in this case, we use can or can't. Are we allowed to smoke in this restaurant? No. Nope. You're not allowed to smoke in this restaurant. So it's, there is no permission, no permission to smoke in this restaurant. I'm very happy now that, uh, well, without law of no smoking in public places, that's the best thing that could have happened, right? Now, will journalists be allowed to ask questions? Yes, journalists will be allowed to ask questions. See? Journalists will be allowed to ask questions. Journalists can ask questions. Yes? So I'm not asking for permission. I'm just telling you the permission that people already have. Any question here? See, no? Sí y no, no, no. Okay. Por ejemplo. No, sí. <ríe> like por book. ejemplo. Um, eh, sin, sin, sin molestar, ¿verdad? Sin nada de que tenga que ver con la clase. Yo para entender el tipo de permiso. Claro, digamos. Dice, dice, ustedes no pueden tener la cámara apagada. Ese es que would can't, uh -huh. can't. Uh -huh. Pero, can porque no es como mandatorio. Uh -uh. Can't, recuerde que can es eh, permission in affirmative, pero in negative se convierte en prohibition. Uh -huh. El can el que, el que tiene dos meanings, o sea, eh, nos sirve como eh, permission si está en afirmativo, pero prohibition si está en negativo. 
por ejemplo, a un niño, si usted no quiere que el niño no se suba en el mueble, ¿verdad? Le va a decir, you can't go on that shelf, for example. Entonces, you can't, porque es un prohibition. Es igual que you are not allowed to. O sea, no tiene permitido, no tiene permiso de. Right? Y no tiene permiso porque es prohibido. ¿Ya? Aquí cambia, uh, cuando ayer se acuerda con el should, decíamos que el should usted perfectamente puede dar a piece of advice. Using should o using shouldn't. Y el meaning no cambia. ¿Sí? O sea, lo único que está diciendo usted es, o sea, yo pienso que esto es buena idea y yo pienso que es una mala idea. O yo no pienso que sea buena idea. ¿Right? Pero en este caso no, no cambia totalmente el meaning. Entonces, si yo ocupo can't, me voy más al lado de prohibition. Mm -hmm. It's a, for, a, prohibition, a prohibition. For example, when you say we can't eat in the library. No tenemos permiso de comer en la biblioteca. Es prohibido. ¿Verdad? Es prohibido comer en la biblioteca. Ni hablar puede uno. So you can't speak in the library. You can't speak aloud. You can't listen to music in the library. Yeah. You can't sure. laugh. <laughs> Tell me, Joana. So, podemos decir que can es algo que podemos o no podemos hacer. Y allow es tener permitido o no tener permitido hacer. Exacto. Como para poderlo diferenciar. Es como poder o tener un permiso. Es, que es lo mismo, básicamente. Usted no tiene permitido fumar en el restaurante. Y tampoco tiene permitido comer en la biblioteca. Lo único que aquí es, es una estructura más que le da el mismo significado de permission. ¿Sí? Okay. Pero en este caso, cuando usted está hablando de algo que es permitido o que no es permitido, no puede usar may ni could. Porque el may y could lo ocupa cuando usted está asking for permission or giving permission or refusing permission. May I, may I smoke in this restaurant? And then I would say, no, no, you may not. Being very formal, right? Así extremadamente fufu. <laughs> Being very formal. You say, no, you may not smoke in this restaurant. Oh yeah, you may smoke in this restaurant. Pero ahí está pidiendo, a ver, vamos, what are you? You are asking, refusing, and giving. Entonces, ocupa may, puede ocupar may, puede usar can, puede usar could. Pero, si usted lo que está haciendo es solamente contando que es permitido y que no, ahí es donde se va a can y can't. ¿Sí? No está permitido eh, comer en la biblioteca. Entonces, perfectamente usted puede decir, we can't eat in the library or we are not allowed to eat in the library y el significado es exactamente el mismo. Mm -hmm. So there is no different. That's permission or lack of permission. Con la diferencia de que aquí, aquí estamos pidiendo permiso. ¿Sí? Aquí le estoy contando los permisos que tiene y los que no. Por ejemplo, cuando usted entra a una biblioteca, ahí va a haber un gran rótulo. Don't eat, don't shout, don't whistle, don't, don't sing, don't laugh, don't talk. ¿Verdad? Entonces, si vemos esos imperativos que dice don't, 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 don't. Cuando nosotros los escribimos ya en una oración completa, podría decir... You are not allowed to talk. You can't whistle. You can't uh, sing. You're not allowed to 
eat here, you're not allowed to play here, you're not allowed to laugh. You are allowed to use the computer for one hour. You're not allowed to use the computer for three or four hours. Uh -huh. Entonces, no hay eh, diferencia en meaning si usted ocupa can o si ocupa be allowed. ¿Sí? Son dos estructuras que, ocupa, que tienen el mismo significado. Igual que cuando ocupamos may y might para possibility. En ese caso, may and might for possibility, el meaning es exactamente el mismo, no hay diferencia alguna. Simplemente eh, son dos palabras que se ocupan para lo mismo y ni siquiera podría decir, ah, pero es que uno es más formal que el otro. No, simplemente son lo mismo, ¿verdad? Vaya, nos vamos al otro, check. Hemos estado hablando de permission y hemos estado hablando de permission precisamente por el motivo de que Betty has to ask for permission, right? And when Betty asks for permission, she will use could if she wants to be very formal, but she wants to be extremely formal, she will use may, or if she wants to be like very direct, she will use can. So remember, talking about permission, can is very direct. Can I leave now? And they will say, yeah, sure, why not? Probablemente eh, no ni siquiera eh, eh, se espere esa pregunta, es una pregunta subdirecta y principalmente se hace esa pregunta para pedir permiso cuando no hay tiempo, right? Can I go to the restroom? O sea, ya está, que ya no puede. Can I open the windows? Eso está desesperando. Entonces, esta es más, es más directa, right? Could is more formal, pero may is the most formal of all. Y no es muy común, recuerden lo que veíamos antes. May is not too common to ask for permission. Eh, right? And we say less common and more formal. Right? Porque generalmente tratamos de, ver, de ser más directos. Esto usamos que. Si yo quiero ya contarles los permisos que yo tenía en el pasado, ya saben ustedes que el pasado de quién es could, ¿verdad? Y allí eh, nos vamos a este caso de que, ajá, no estoy pidiendo, no estoy negando, tampoco estoy pidiendo eh, permiso, ¿verdad? No estoy dando, ni pidiendo, ni negando. Entonces, yo puedo decir, ok, when I was a child, I remember that when I was a child, I could play in the street until very late. See, I had the permission from my mom to play outside. I remember that when I was a child, I could go, I could spend the whole afternoon on a tree. There a monkey. I used to spend the afternoon on a tree that was in front of my house. So I had the permission. My mother didn't say you can't go to, to the tree. Sometimes, yes, but not, even, not very often, right? So I had that permission. Then as I'm talking about the past, I say, I couldn't, see, I couldn't, okay. I couldn't watch TV after 11 because there was only one television and at that time my brother was using it. So I couldn't watch TV after 11. I could stay up at night, but I couldn't make noise after 10 p.m. when my father wanted to sleep, see? I couldn't make, so I'm giving you the, the story of permission that I had in the past when I was a child. I could sleep late, but I couldn't make noise. I remember once, I don't know, I don't, 
No, I started to ask. But my sister and I were laughing, but laughing as crazy. But we were laughing, laughing, laughing as crazy. And it was about 11 p.m., something like that. And my father said, be quiet from his room. Be quiet. If you don't be quiet, I will go to your room and punish you. <laughs> it was like if he had told us, continue laughing and laugh more. And we were laughing more. And then we heard the steps. <gasps> there is coming. We covered ourselves. We were quiet for one minute and then we continue laughing. I don't remember the context. I just remember that, imagine. So, but we couldn't do that. We couldn't do that after 10, we had to be quiet, right? Because it was time for sleeping. So check. One thing is asking for permission, giving or negating the permission, <laughs> refusing, right? And the other one is, telling people what we can do now in the present or in the future, or what we could do in the past, okay? But that was talking about permission. Questions about permission so far? Yeah. No, thank you. Vaya. So before we change to the other use of could, that is a possibility, Vamos a la tienda. Let's see, Adriana Jimena. No, Adriana Jimena. ¿De dónde? Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ay, no, es que he estado metiendo notas. Y tengo como cinco Jimenas en mis clases. Ana Alicia. Presente. An, eh, Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Carolina, Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Claudia, no here. Present, no me funcionaba. Present teacher. Okay, okay. Give me a second. I'm going to close the door. Da -da -da -da. I'm sorry. Vengo de carrito. Va. Okay. Ha. Huh. Um Claudia Carolina, we said, right? Edwin. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Diego, no está Diego. He, eh, tiene problemas, si ahorita con su inter. Diego. Sí. Está, no está. Uy. No veo nada. Diego. Sí, ahí está, ¿verdad? Se nos perdió, Diego, Diego, Diego. Hello, hello, hello. Vaya, pues. Ahí lo vamos a poner presente en la próxima. No. Uh -huh. Ok. Perdomo, Grace. Presente, teacher. Jonathan David. No, Jonathan. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Teacher. Hola. Ah, una pregunta. Dígame. Fíjese que ahora nos mandaron la encuesta. Quiero ah. preguntarle si la vamos a responder no. con usted o si la podemos responder ya. No, no, no. No, no. Hey, thank you, Karen. Sí, sí, es cierto. Eh, sí, aquí tengo gente nueva, ¿verdad? Vaya a hacer la encuesta de satisfacción, esa se llena una vez cada curso y se llena justo el último 
uy, cuántas cámaras cerradas, miro niños. Esa, esa encuesta de satisfacción se llena el último día de clase. Nos llenan conmigo. A nosotros nos asignan una hora donde, no, donde no, porque no es lugar la hora, vean. Nos asignan una hora en la cual eh, todos juntos llenamos la encuesta. ¿Verdad? Y vamos pasito a pasito, llenando cada puntito, aunque a ustedes les manden toda la información. Eh, la llenamos juntos. Oye, eso la llenamos juntos. Eh, entra alguien de, 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 de inglés corporativo a ver el proceso de llenado de la encuesta por si se necesita algún apoyo, ¿verdad? Y la llenamos juntitos. Aquí vamos paso a paso. Así es que no, no, no la van a llenar. Si usted las ha mandado con bastante tiempo de anticipación, porque hoy es martes, todavía generalmente se las manda el miércoles o jueves, un día antes, ¿verdad? Pero no la llenen, no la llenen, sino que la llenamos el último día todos juntos. Oye, ahorita simplemente vea que les ha caído, no pierdan su información, porque el viernes ocupamos todos esos datos que les han mandado a ustedes para completarla. Okay. Okay, teacher. ok, teacher. Sí, porque en mi caso ya me dijeron de que, de que me inscribiera la otra y que había terminado. Sí, el viernes terminamos. Ahí vean Correcto. para cuándo les están pidiendo los documentos, ¿verdad? Para que los entreguen con tiempo. Y recuerden los requisitos, ¿verdad? Que son siempre terminar la plataforma con el 80%, terminar la asistencia con el 80%. Y aquí donde esta semana les empiezan a caer los recordatorios de conéctese a clase las dos horas completas todos los días. ¿Verdad? Que si le falta, que si le falta. Porque hay gente que ya está en el 80, pero hay gente que, que ha faltado. Entonces, asegúrese de que no faltan los últimos días para que su asistencia esté nítida en, no, en 80, en 90. Sí. ¿Y, pero, ¿Y cómo se cuenta ese porcentaje de asistencia? Pues no, no, en la lista donde yo le paso asistencia a ustedes, Allí yo voy poniendo la asistencia y ellos al final tienen forma de ver cuántos minutos usted ha estado conectado a clase. Entonces ellos le ponen 120 minutos, 117 minutos, 114, 90, 97, 7 minutos. Si solo 7 minutos se conectó y se desconectó, esos 7 le ponen. Entonces... Eso de los minutos ya no lo veo yo, yo solamente le pongo present, 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 present y ellos tienen la forma de ver eh, cuántos minutos ustedes han estado conectados a clase. Uh -huh. Entonces por eso es que les, les hacen tanto hincapié en la cuestión de la asistencia, ¿verdad? Que, que estén conectados las dos horas. Y también en la cuestión de la plataforma, porque recuerden que el diploma también viene eh, no solo por asistencia, sino que también por el cumplimiento de tareas, ¿verdad? Que lleva al 80% de la plataforma. Yo voy a ver, voy a ver cuando termine la tendas, voy a revisar la plataforma porque... Eh, ya tengo comprendido que arreglaron el, el errorcito que había, ¿se acuerdan? En una de las preguntas que no tenía ninguna respuesta marcada. Eso significa que en teoría ya a todos les tendría que aparecer 100 en, es, en, esa, en esa semana. Bueno, no todos. Los que tenían 96 porque les daba error en esa pregunta que daba solamente el 16%. Eh, si la contestó y la tenía correcta, ya tendría que aparecerle el 100%. Yo voy a verificar en un ratitito cuando terminemos con las tendas. Oye, vaya, nos quedamos en Carla Lorena. Ese dice. Ok. Eh, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. Kevin, no. 
Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé. Present teacher. Zahilda. Rosy no está. Mario. Mario, Mario. No, Mario. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Nice. Y Diego, ¿está Diego? No está. Diego, hello. Sorry. Te lo he llamado como 10 veces, Diego. Lo siento es que se me quedó pegado así sin poder hacer nada el teléfono. Ok, ok. Ya le va a pasar la de Luis Mauricio. ¿no? Si quiero cambio. No, no, no. Ay, cuando se ponen en huelga los teléfonos, se ponen en huelga. Vamos a ver. Quiero ver. Ya me dio esa curiosidad de ver qué pasó acá. Era la 14. Vamos a ver si refrescamos. Hmm. Ah, bueno, le voy a dar sumit de regreso. Va, ah, pues sí, ya está, chicos. Ya está, ya está. Solo háganme un favor. Cuando hoy... Teacher. Hola. Eh, yo fíjese que yo estaba haciendo las tareas de la plataforma y no me acuerdo si es la 17, donde dice que responda con el CUT. Eh, yo hice la oración con el CUT, pero todas me salieron malas. No sé si era sobre esta clase que tenía que poner can o may. Vamos a ver. Vaya, solo vamos a ver una cosita. Aquí en la tarea 14, como se acuerdan que ya todos ya la habíamos hecho, pero les quedaba 96%, necesito que hagan una cosa. Que le dé, solo dele submit, porque ustedes habían escogido la respuesta correcta, ¿verdad? Lo único que sucedía allí era que no se las tomaban como correcta. Entonces, lo que yo necesito es que ustedes vayan a la plataforma, no ahorita, pero sí después, a la tarea número 14, le den clic en Submit para que el 16% se convierta en 20. Oye. Ok. Que mientras usted no le dé Submit, a mí me va a seguir saliendo 96%. Les digo porque yo acabo de entrar a ver este, el ejercicio. Yo tenía resuelto el ejercicio. Pero mientras no le daba Submit, aunque le diera Refresh, 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 no pasaba nada. Entonces tiene que darle clic en submit para que le acepte la corrección que se hizo. Hoy. A ver, tarea 17 me dice. Sí. Es sobre hoy. ¿Usted qué ha estado poniendo? ¿La oración completa? Eh, sí. Como ahí se le dice que complete. Complete the sentences. Sí, sí complete the sentences. Pero no dice escriba la oración completa. Vamos a ver qué. No, va, sí, la tarea 17 dice que ponga cus y el verbo que está entre paréntesis. Ajá, exacto. Entonces yo lo hice. 
pero me sale mal. Por ejemplo, en la primera yo puse, you could ask for two days mm -hmm. off, y puse punto, y me salió mala. Bueno, todas me salieron malas. Mm -hmm. No sé si, si eh, tenías que hacerlo de otra forma, o si no solo era el could. Teacher, bueno, yo creo que solo todo, tiene que ocupar sí, el caballo y la, el lo que pensé, eh, Karen. Solamente ¿Hola? tiene que escribir la palabra could y el verbo. No tiene que escribir toda la oración. Vaya, cheque. Cuando dice complete the sentence using could and the verb in brackets, no significa que tiene que escribir la oración completa, solo complete esa oración. Así como cuando yo le doy los, los worksheets aquí. Y usted solo oh, ya, ya, ya. la muy palabra que, que le hace falta a la oración solamente. Eso es todo lo que va a escribir y se la va a dar correcta. Oye. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Es que a veces están programadas para escribir toda la oración, pero esta está programada para escribir solo las muy dos palabras que faltan. Sí, teacher, así como acaba de dar la indicación, así es, porque yo acabo de cambiar justamente mi respuesta ya con esta indicación y ahora sí me la agarro correcta. Exacto, exacto. Sí, yo me saqué 20. <risa> sí, así que, ajá, eso es, eso es, este, solamente escriba las dos palabras que faltan para completar la oración. Nada más. Ok. Pacha, okay. pues. Y a dónde, a dónde tiene que darle eh, para arreglar la tarea 14. Mm. Porque a mí no me aparece, solo me aparece enviar, no me parece como sí. deshacer o algo ah, bueno, así. ¿Crees que usted lo tiene en español? Dele clic en enviar. Yo porque lo tengo en inglés, me dice submit. Ajá, pero tampoco. Enviar es submit. Uh -huh, pero no. Ah, sí, 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 ya vi, ya, ya, ya ¿Verdad? Sí, 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 ajá. sí gracias sí. Ahí solo tienen que darle enviar Yo a veces me confundo cuando me encuentro las plataformas en español Vamos a ver, Carolina Abigail Señorita Cobos, Claudia Claudia Carolina, ¿verdad? Este, denle, Claudia es Claudia Claudia es de Cobos, ¿verdad? Sí. <ríe> eh, Diego también, denle clic en submit para que les tome el 100%. Sí. Sí. Teacher, teacher. ¿Quién dijo teacher? Diego. No, no, no. Yo, yo no he fui. fui. ¿Ah? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Oh, no es, dígame. No es, sí. Ah, pues entonces el problema es eso es, teacher. O sea, que a mí me falta darle submit porque yo las tareas ya las tengo completadas y solo me aparece en el 60, me dijo teacher. Entonces, eso es, no la tengo que volverlas a enviar. Ah, seguramente le hizo alguna corrección. Ah, pues dele submit entonces. Sí, porque si okay. usted, usted no le da submit, a mí no me llega. Ah, ok. Ok, gracias, teacher. Sí, sí porque fíjese que curiosamente, y eso me llamó la atención a mí, que tiene unidad 1, 60, unidad 2, 60, unidad 3, 60, la unidad 4, 60. Entonces el promedio le da 60. Ok. Ajá. Entonces, cheque, 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 a ver qué pasó, porque es que, ¿verdad? Le aparece así. Ay, ¿qué va a decir? Soy la más completa. <risa> Esa soy yo. Vaya, ya me iba a regañar yo sola. Mire, no ha hecho toda la plataforma, solo uno que otro es ese. Vamos a ver. Hmm. Grace. La unidad 2 me la tiene en 64%, señorita. ¿Cuál es la unidad 2, teacher? La ¿Qué, unidad, ¿Qué quiz? La unidad 2, no, preciosa. La, la unidad 2 de, de, de las tareas. Quiero ver. Es que ya las, ya las hice todas. Pero tiene 64%. Ah, 
de verdad, voy a, voy a buscar porque se supone que ya hice hasta el examen, hice el quiz 20. Sí, 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 sí eso sí, aquí los miro yo. Ya. Pero voy a buscar la unidad 2 porque no sé. Quizás me salté algo, dicho. La unidad 2 serían las tareas 6, 7, 8, 9 y 10. De verdad. Voy, voy a revisarla bien, teacher, porque no... Ya no. le digo... Siete. siete me sale completa, ah, me salen en verde todo. La ocho no hizo. Ah. ah. No es que no la hice, me salió toda en, en, en rojo. Ah. No me fijé que me, algo no hice bien en la tarea. Ok, la voy a revisar entonces. Porque sí, eso es, todas están en rojo. Quiero ver, la otra sería la 11, 12, la 12 también. Ok, 8, 9, 10. Bueno, aquí, no me cargan todas de una vez. Lo bueno es que aquí los vigilo. Ok, 8 y 12. La voy a revisar más noche, Ticho. Ok. Porque no. Ay, voy a ver cómo no se carga. llama. Pero gracias, Ticho. Ok. No, no es verdad. Para ver, Noé, ¿qué fue lo que pasó? Sí, teacher. Quiero ver. Ay, ¿cómo me voy a otro nombre aquí? No estoy en otra página. Vaya, fíjese que en la, en la unidad 1, no es. Le falta la, un, la, lex, sí. la tarea 4 y la 5. Ok. Ah, eso es, en todas me ha ido dejando las dos últimas, no las ha hecho. En, las, en la unidad 2 no hizo la 9 y la 10. En la unidad 3 no hizo la 14 ni la 15. Entonces, okay. en todas las trabaja 3. Y se salta al examen. Entonces ahí me va okay. dejando, en todas las unidades me ha ido dejando la, la última y la penúltima pen, de, pendiente sin hacer. La de jueves, viernes no las ha ido haciendo. Ok. No es que le dé un mal total, ¿verdad? Pero podría estar mejor. Sí, che, pero a mí me aparecen en, en, en verde ya. Entonces, quizás el problema es que me salieron mal. Solo las corregí, pero no las volví a enviar. No voy a... Uh -huh. Ajá, sí. Tengo que, volverlas, tengo que volverlas a enviar otra vez. Dele, solo, sí. vaya, si usted las tiene hechas, solo dele. Sí, ya está. Ah, pues solo dele clic en Submit y ya sí. tendrían que aparecer a mí completas. ¿Verdad? Ok, ok, gracias. Bueno. Vaya. Hoy sí. Let's see. Sí, fíjense que con eso de las plataformas es, es, es de ver que uno puede completarla y me voy al otro, me voy al otro, pero si no le da submit, no, no, no se van. Vaya. Eh, vamos a compartir. Again. We were talking about permission. Now, let's talk about possibility. Checking. When we talk about possibility, remember we mentioned may and we mentioned might, right? Plus the infinitive form of the verb, o sea, el verbo en forma base, right? That is to express present or future possibility. See? She may come tomorrow. She may come tomorrow. That's a great degree of certainty, con may. 
¿verdad? Es más así como más seguro cuando usamos may que cuando usamos might, pero al final vienen a ser lo mismo. ¿Ok? Now, you should ask him, he may know Susan's telephone number. ¿Sí? He may know or he might know. And you say, perhaps he knows her number. I may see you later, or I might see you later. Perhaps I will see you later. So remember, perhaps means possibility too, right? You should introduce yourself. He may not remember you, or he might not remember you. Perhaps she doesn't remember you, or she won't remember you. Ok, aquí tendría que ser sí, ¿verdad? Ok. So, you see, we use may and might to talk about possibility, but we also use could to talk about possibility. And then you say that you use the modal could to express possibility. You could request a day off. You could ask for permission. You could tell your boss that you need a day off. You could, there is a possibility that you do this. See, here I'm not talking about permission. Now I'm talking about possibility. There is a possibility. You could leave early today. Yeah, there are not many clients. So you could, you could leave early today. You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. You could talk. She could explain her situation. Podría, right? That's the meaning of could. We could take the company's transportation. We could finish the homework today. <laughs> there is a possibility. We could study French after learning English. Hmm. Possibility, right? I don't know if you have questions about this uh, structure. Remember again, we should, and then the verb. El verbo forma basti, right? Request, you could request, you could talk, she could explain, she could take. In base form, no could to take. Uh, there are only two models that take two, pero ese two es parte del modo. Es o tú y have to. ¿Sí? De ahí todos los demás. Ah, oh, need to. ¿Verdad que need to también es tomado en cierta manera como si fuera moda? To talk about necessity. Pero de modas, que, que sí de verdad son modas. O tú and have to, that both of them are used for obligation. Yeah, to talk about obligation. But when we use could, can, may, might, should, these are used with the model and then the verb in the base form. Any question over there? La estructura es should, should or could? Ahorita estamos hablando de could. Eh, la clase de ayer hablamos de should con el meaning de advice o recommendation. Now we are using could with the meaning of possibility. <clears throat> Acabamos de estar usando could como permission, ¿verdad? Permission, very formal, to ask for permission. Edwin, Edwin. Yo creo que Edwin se refiere Ajá. al cuadro en la estructura. El cuadro de la estructura dice subject plus show. Ah, mire qué ingrato esto. Thank you, Diego. Es cool. <laughs> Hold. That's a new one. Hold. Yeah, this is good. Tiene que ser could. Could. The verb, y ese sí se me fue, ¿eh? no lo vi. Eh, could, the verb, but the verb in base form. ¿Sí? 
stay, porque could es el que usamos para possibility, right? Uh -huh. Any other question? Hey, los felicito porque hoy ya le encuentran los errores al manual. Ah, he creado un monstruo. <ríe> Me dije, vaya. A ver, any other question here? No question? No? No? Sí. No teacher. <ríe> no teacher. Ok, vaya, pues. Let's go then check. Here, you're going to read the situations and write sentences expressing possibility with could. See? Imagine you don't have a car, you could take an Uber. You could travel by bus, you could walk, you could buy a bicycle and go by bicycle. Uh, you could buy a motorcycle, no, it's not safe, but then you could do it, right? So there are yes. many, many possibilities for you to travel to work if you don't have a car. Miss, excuse me. Tell me, Anna. In, a, in a example number one or exercise number one, you don't have a car. The answer could be, uh, you should because it's a recommendation. No. We Why? are talking about recommendation. We're talking about possibility. Possibility. Recommendation era ayer. Yes. <clears throat> now but, we're talking about possibility. What could you do if you don't have a car? You have to get to work, right? You have to get to work. ¿Qué posibilidades tiene? ¿Cómo moverse para llegar? Uh -huh. Echer una pregunta, pero si estamos eh, usando el negativo, tendríamos que usar el current. Sí. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si dice, you don't have a car, so you couldn't, uh -huh. you couldn't stay home. Yo puedo stay home. Pero recuerden que también este se puede dar una situación como con el con el can. Que cuando hablamos del can como ability de the, the meaning of can. I can run, I can play soccer, I can, but I can't swim, I cannot dance, I cannot sing. El, the meaning of ability and lack of ability doesn't change. But when we talk about a can, talking about possibility or talking about permission, in affirmative, can is permission, can is possibility. But uh, when can goes to negative, that, belong, that becomes a prohibition. Entonces, si yo ocupo could in negative, what would happen? ¿Mm? Se me va a ir a prohibition in the past. For example, when I told you, when I was a child, I couldn't make noise after 11 p.m. I could go to church, I could play in front of the house, I could run up and down, I could visit my neighbors, that I couldn't make noise after 11. Pero I couldn't, ya no este que no podía porque no existía la posibilidad, sí había posibilidad de hacer ruido, pero era prohibido, ¿sí? So, in that context, could becomes a prohibition more than a lack of possibility, ¿sí? Sí. 
Vaya, mm -hmm. look at the situations. Look at the situations and write the possibility. ¿Qué podría hacer usted en esa situación? What could you do? What could you do in that possibility? Si dice que could, me aparece solamente como ability or inability in the past. Para inability in negative. Mm -hmm. Question. But I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to see, for you to do it, and then we will check. Teacher, en la primera sería entonces, like, como el you don't have a car, sería you could call a taxi. You could call a taxi, sure. Ah, ok, entonces solo tendríamos que usar el, el could en ningún momento el negativo, ¿verdad? Sí, pero es que si usted va a hablar de una posibilidad, ¿qué es lo que puedo hacer? Le va a dar la, mm -hmm. la idea en afirmativo, no en negativo. No. Porque yo le pido que pueda hacer, no, mira, ¿y qué es lo que no puedo hacer? O sea, ¿qué puedo no hacer? No, ¿qué puedo hacer? ¿Qué puedo hacer? Please give me an idea, right? What is possible to do here? You cannot tell me, ah, you couldn't take a, a plane. So obviously, I know I can't, I can't take a plane, right? But what could I do? What possibilities do I have? You could call a taxi, you could call an Uber, you could get a motorcycle, you could ask a friend for a ride, you could walk to take the bus, or you can walk to your work. You could go by bicycle. You could sit and cry. No, he said no, verdad? <laughs> okay, so there are many possibilities. What are the possibilities? You could wake up early and travel on bus or, or taxi. Exactly. You could get up earlier and travel by taxi. Uh huh. Teacher, yes. You could stay in house. <laughs> you could stay at home. Yes. Sí, ¿por qué no? Fíjese que el could. Se lo da en negative solamente para ability, pero no para possibility. 
El can se lo da para impossibility. El can, cannot. Pero could no. Y por eso es que ando rechecando porque no me gusta solo decirle, mire, no. <ríe> ¿Verdad? Pero ¿por qué no? O sea, no, no, no se usa el, el could como para hablar de possibility en negative, sino que mmm, en negative el could, su uso es más para hablar de lack of ability o lack of permission in the past. So I couldn't go out, I couldn't do many things, I couldn't, pero no para, no para possibility. Para possibility, it appears only in affirmative. Le voy a mandar un link para que se entretengan al final de la clase. I like it a lot. It's very creative and it's very, very, very key. Easy. Chuchu. Ahí se los mando. Teacher, in number two, for example, is could I leave the office after lunch? Mm -hmm. Because my husband is sick and I have to take him to the doctor. Could I repeat your, your sentence? Could I leave the office after lunch? Sure. Could I leave the office after lunch? Perfect. In number five, you have to create a situation, okay? You have to create a, your own situation. And then you give a, or you express a possibility of what you could do in that situation. Imagine, imagine, but in my case, I have to teach a class and there is no electricity. What could I do? No, what should I do? But what is the possibility? What are the possibilities? There is always something that you can do or something that you could do in that situation. So what could I do if there is no internet and it's about time for class? Mm -hmm. Remember you using could, right? Could, that's the structure you're using, could. Let me know whenever you're ready. You can think there about your job, right? So in your job, what is it possible? Because um, imagine if I tell you, you could leave early and you say in my job, that's not possible, right? In my job, that's not possible. I cannot leave early. But uh -huh, what other possibilities exist in a situation like this in the place where you work? Teacher, disculpe, it's okay if I say renew passport. Renew? Sure. You renew your passport. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
When you finish, we will check. I want to listen to volunteers. One more minute. You are in number three right now, right? What about if you feel tired? If you feel tired or if you feel sick? What could you do? What are the possibilities? Uh, when I am sick, it's okay if I say, could I take a nap? Could I take a nap? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Is there a possibility uh, for you to... Is it a possibility for you to take a nap in the office? Sometimes they I'll take some pills. <laughs> sometimes it is possible, right? You go to, to a special place to rest, but in some other cases, no. I remember once my daughter was at the, at the hospital and I had to stay up, to stay all night with her at the hospital. So next day I went to work, but I was like, well, I worked the morning, but I had to work the afternoon and I was worn up completely. Then I remember I went to the nurse's office and I told her, can I sleep here? And she said, sure. Please wake me up at, at the one, I told her, because I have class later. And she said, no problem. I will go out for lunch, but I come at one. So at one, I wake you up. And I fall asleep. I was alone in the nurse's office. <laughs> and I, I fell asleep, totally asleep. When I listened to the voices coming, I heard, but I had have, I have slept only one minute, five minutes. I saw the watch and it's like, oh, one hour had passed and I hadn't felt any time. But it was good because there was that place uh, where I could where I could sleep. Imagine. So yeah, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Basha. Let's see the next one. Okay, I I want to hear volunteers. You don't have a car. What could you do if you don't have a car? You could. You could take the bus. You could take the bus. Mm -hmm. You could call an Uber. You could come. Call an Uber. Okay, you could call an Uber, yes. Uh -huh. Another possibility? You can ask for a ride for your uh, co-workers. Okay, you could ask for a ride. Sure, why not? Probably somebody lives close and they that person can take you. Okay, let's see the next one. Someone of your family is sick. You could, you could visit the doctor with your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With the family member, right? Uh -huh. you, could, you could ask for permission in your work. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Another possibility? He or she could, could have to rest? No. Uh, he or ah, she... You're giving me a recommendation there. He has? Yeah. To. But what uh -huh. about you? Uh, I don't... What could you do? Mm -hmm. Vaya, vámonos a la number three. Uh, you need to request a legal document. You? You could call to the lawyer. To whom? To the lawyer. Oh, okay. You could call the lawyer. The lawyer or the lawyer. <laughs> you could call the lawyer. What else? You could make an appointment for your legal, for your, okay? Your legal, legal document. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. you could make an appointment to get your legal document. Okay, nice. Um, you feel tired. Tired. I say you feel tired. Okay, you feel tired. You could take a nap. Okay. Uy, uy. I came from work and I went directly to the sofa. I woke up at seven. You could, that was a long nap of almost two hours. Okay, you could take a nap. Now I'm like new, you see. Okay, what else? What other possibility? You could stay in your bed. Hmm? You could stay in your bed. Okay. In your desk. Uh -huh. Uy, que escribí. <laughs> okay. Another possibility? You could take a vacation. Yes, one. You could take a vacation. I like that one. You could take a vacation. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Okay, now we have to create a, 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 a situation here. Tell me a situation. What situation? <laughs> you don't you don't know home, homework? You don't know how to do the homework. Okay. Ah, nice. You don't know how to do the homework. What should you do if you don't know how to do the homework? Well, what could you do? Possibility, right? No recommendation. Could you ask to your teacher? You could ask to your teacher. Uh -huh. Another possibility? You could support with your classmates. Mm -hmm. You could study again the class. Okay. You could study the class again. You could watch the video. Right? You could watch the video of the class in case imagine you were absent. You could come and watch the video of the class. Okay, nice, nice, nice. That is 
Possibility. Todo eso es lo que usted puede hacer en esas situaciones. Ok. Imagine, what about I have a... Ok. I forgot the keys of my house. I don't know how to enter. What could I do? I forgot the keys. No tengo llaves. No puedo entrar a mi casa. What could I do? Possibilities. Uh -huh. Adriana, I see you're talking. <laughs> Microphone. Uh, you could call your husband for emergency keys. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. You could call to locksmith, I think so. It's... To locksmith, uh -huh. to uh -huh. open, yes. The door. Okay. Another possibility, you could sit down and cry in front of your house. No, with that. <laughs> okay. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Another possibility? You, you could tell the neighbor. Mm -hmm. You could wait in your neighbor's house. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Before it was nice because my neighbor was my mother. So if I didn't have the keys to enter, I went to my neighbor's house, right? So that was the perfect place to wait. Okay, nice. Any questions about this topic? Hmm? No question. No, no questions. Ok, como es un martes con sabor a viernes, no sé por qué, <ríe> vamos a, ver, a checar la tenis. <ríe> Friday again, ¿por qué? Sí, así. Because the vacation is near. I think so, I think so. It's like the, the mind, your mind is playing you. Game saying it's Friday, it's Friday, vacation, vacation. No, después de vacation, la vamos a sentir que vuela. Exactly. That's sad. I don't have a vacation. <laughs> Who doesn't have vacation? No. no you don't have. Oh, so sorry. No, no vacation. <laughs> no vacation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But you live in a beautiful <laughs> place, Aguachapán. You yeah. don't need vacation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in, the, in a Huachapan, it's so beautiful that you don't need vacation. Okay. Yes. <laughs> no, that's an advantage of being a teacher. Yes. <laughs> week of vacation, right, Anna? Ooh, time to 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 charge batteries. Time for sleeping. For charging our batteries. And for cleaning the house, all the mess that <laughs> all the mess that we haven't fixed during the year. <coughs> okay, that's the reality. Vamos a ver. Adriana Marcela. Present. Present teacher. Eh, Ana. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin. Present teacher. Eh, Grace Mitchell. Grace, Grace, Grace. Por ahí estaba. Eh, Jonathan. Uy. Present teacher. Jonathan. ¿A dónde, Hola. ¿A dónde ha estado Jonathan? <laughs> Trabajando hasta hace poco, acabo de regresar, lo siento. Está bien, buen día. Jonathan, ¿no está? Va. Eh, Jonathan, right? Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Katia. 
¿no, Carla? Ah. <risa> Siempre le cambio el nombre a alguien. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Ok. Carla, you have a new, number, a new name. Kevin. <risa> Kevin, Kevin. Está Kevin. Kevin. No, ¿verdad? Y es que Zoom no me pone los nombres en orden alfabético, entonces. No, no, no ¿verdad? No está. Ok. Te puedo mirar bien. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Ya se fue a dormir. Present. Ok, Noé Ortiz. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. ¿Qué le pasó a su jefa, Luis? Dice que está enferma. Dice, ¿verdad? A mí no me consta. Sí, es probable porque Rosy no anda faltando. No, ya no falta. No, sí, está enferma, dijo. Entonces, que no se sentía muy bien. Oh. Aparte de que tuvo un accidente con el teléfono en su cara. Entonces, oh. <ríe> creería yo que por eso no. <ríe> no se conectó. Ay, no, so sorry. Sí, no, dice que se le iba a caer el teléfono y por quererlo agarrar, lo tiró para arriba y se golpeó el labio. Oh. <ríe> Ajá, entonces, sí. Yelito, yelito, carne, que ponga carne cruda. Bácala, pero... <ríe> sí, <la cruda. ríe> sí. Y así, no. guácala, guácala. Vaya, Mario Ángel. Mario, no, hear Mario. Mario, no, ¿verdad? Es que Mario, no, que él escribió en el WhatsApp, teacher. En algún lugar. Pero teacher, no. en WhatsApp me parece que escribió ah, que WhatsApp. no puede tener casa, ajá, algo así. Ajá, exacto. Exacto. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. Ya llegó Joana. Uy, sí. Ah, vaya, qué galán. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Así oye, David. Ok, bueno, ya we finish. ¿Quién se queda conmigo? Oh. Ay, ya no sé qué día hoy. 17, ¿verdad? Sí. Rosy se queda conmigo. Ay, ve a Luis Mauricio si se quiere quedar hoy. Que quede Rosy mañana. Silencio. Es igual que silencio completo. No, please, teacher. Ok, well. Sí. Cuando está cenando, le digo que. No, teacher. No estoy para ti. Sí, YouTube. Sí, YouTube. Bye, see you. Bye, see you. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye
it at that place. You can wake up a little later. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Couple of things. Go to sleep. Wake <laughs> up. Have lunch. Do couple of things. And uh -huh. again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Take at least to that during the day. So do something uh, at home and sleep, do something. Uh -huh. That's it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And but so you can we take don't have, we don't have a vacation. <clears throat> only, only one day, probably. Friday. <clears throat> yes, Friday. Or probably. The days. No. We work. No. no. We work. Uh huh. Yeah, because uh, some places have two days of vacation. Yes, yeah. Two, do, two days of vacation, so you have like uh, um, Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Some days, right? Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Others have like Thursday, Friday. For example, the banks have Thursday, the Friday. But they go back to work on Saturday. Some. Uh, yes. Some. Yeah. Others, no. Others go back until yeah. Monday. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, because uh, the banking, the uh, here in uh, Wachapan, uh, take uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah, that's nice. That's mm -hmm. nice. So they, they can go back uh, have at least. Monday. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like ooh, four days, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all together. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to know that the vacation starts. Let's see. We we have April. We finish Friday. No, we finish like. Vacation starts on the 11th, right? Or on the 10th? 10th. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. On the 10th. And the following Saturday and Sunday, eh, Sábado de Gloria, Domingo de Resurrección, are vacation. Yes. yes. So, vacation. Mm -hmm. so it's, complete, it's a complete week. Mm -hmm. In Holy Week, it's always in Easter. Is always the complete week. The one that is sometimes kind of strange is August vacation. Mm -hmm. Because August vacation goes like taking any, any time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Ah, but this year, Monday 1st, Finishing Saturday 6th. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh -huh. I like it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it's the whole week. Because sometimes, uh -huh. as, as it is from 1 to 6, mm -hmm. sometimes it starts in the middle of the week and finishes in the middle of the week. In the middle, you have Saturday and Sunday. It's like mm -hmm. a, a strange thing. Uh -huh. This year is, is different. <laughs> yeah, oh, finally. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. Teacher. Hey, Luis, how are you doing with the platform? Um, I work. <laughs> I work. <laughs> yes, um, <clears throat> only one, one homework. Let me watch you. Oh, yeah. Uh, in unit number three, you were missing one. Uh huh. Yes, only one. I don't remember why, but I I don't <laughs> I don't work in this in this work. <laughs> three. I don't remember. The second. <laughs> it was the second. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't remember, teacher, but. <laughs> I, I review the, the platform and I say, what? <laughs> uh -huh. I say, what? <laughs> no uh -huh. sé, en qué momento me lo salté. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you need for you are complete. 
Uh -huh, uh -huh. You are complete, you need. Exactly. Just an a, a exam. Only exam. Only I the exam. Think. Yes. I think. Yes. <laughs> yes, but, only but, the exam. Uh, but not really. <laughs> I have a, a two two works. I don't I don't no only one two see you need four is complete yes you need one is complete and you need two and you need four mm -hmm. you need only, three, the only, only one where you left one without doing that was the second of you need three <laughs> teacher me acaba de escribir Rosy y le digo yo Rosy, eh, acabo de decirle a la teacher que le mordieron el labio. <ríe> Ey, no sé, así me acaba de poner. <ríe> Pobrecita. Ay, no. El celular dice que le iba a caer y donde lo quiso agarrar, se lo aventó de un solo y se golpeó. Ouch. Me dice, y es que como los están cambiando de, de oficina, ellos estaban en, en el segundo nivel, no, perdón, en el primer nivel, y lo están pasando al segundo, entonces están limpiando, están ordenando, según. Ouch. Entonces todo el polvo y todo eso dice que la, la carga así como con algo así como una especie de gripe, pero no es gripe. Ajá, uh -huh, allergy. Solo se siente, solo se siente así mal, dice, como con temperatura y él. Ouch. Y para acabar de amolar, me dice, se me iba a caer el celular y por quererlo agarrar, me lo tiré en la cara, me, me golpeé. Ay, no. Una foto así con el labio con sangre. Ay, no. Ni modo. Hopefully she feels better tomorrow, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a poo, Rosie. Yeah, very poo. Very poo. Well, I don't know if you have a question, Luis, so you are free. Eh, no. Teacher, I don't have questions. Okay, perfect. Solo voy a hacer el examen prácticamente. <laughs> <laughs> y del examen no le puedo preguntar. No. No, de ahí, varias, de, ahí, de ahí tengo varias preguntas. Ay, ay, no. Ay, no, ay, no. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. Así okay. que este... I cannot give you the answer, right? Yes. Okay. Well, okay. have a good night then, Luis, you, and you see you tomorrow. Yes, teacher. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye and say hello to Rosie. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.